they won the toss. Texas Tech will kick off. Donnie Corona will kick off, and A.J. Jimerson and Keyshawn Martin are deep. Mark D'Antonio, who has gone to a bowl game three straight years, the last Michigan State coach to do that was one Nick Saban. And it's Keyshawn across the 30, out to the 37-yard line where the kicker, Donnie Corona took us to make extensive use of four really good tight ends, although one of them is hurt. Cousins underneath. They've got the first down on the completion to Keyshawn Martin. <laughs> Just look at those great moves and the quickness. And Keith Nickel, the backup quarterback. The Red Raiders. Baker is the running back on third and four. Cousins under pressure. Throws at it, picked off by Hall. Back across the 30 to the 37 yard line. Jamar Hall with his second interception and a return of 16 yards. Brand He's the last one. Taylor Potts comes out throwing. What would you expect? Lyle Leong makes the catch a gain of 13. Offense so efficient in the last 10 years. Six times they have been number one in the country in passing offense. Deep Tron Lewis makes that grab to his left and he'll get the carry back straight up the middle fighting for first down yardage right at the sticks looks like he may have it by the length of the football it's two healthy <laughs> receivers on their offense forget about scout squad receiver Eric Stevens into the game he gets the swing they love to give guys that running start and get them to the edge. Robinson had to make the another little wide receiver in the backfield. Blitz coming. They pick it up. Potts throws the little swing. Batch inside the 20. 15. Down to the 11-yard line. It will be another first down. Nice block by the center side of Taylor Potts. Batch. Touchdown. An impressive opening drive by the Red Raiders of Texas Tech. And they all getting their hands. Michigan State has no shot. 61 yard drive in three minutes and 43 seconds. Only took up. Because they were 78 in rush offense. Baker straight up the middle. 10 5 touchdown. What a block by Joel Foreman and Baker goes 46 yards. That's his longest run of the season. To the running game of Michigan State. And Michigan State after losing those wide receivers in their depth. Not done. On first down, four man rush. Wants a screen. Batch. Still on his feet inside the 35 to the 33 yard line. Lonnie Edwards, number 70. Texas Tech practices those screen passes. There's another quick out this time to Austin Zuzalik, and Zuzalik picks up significant yardage for another. Stevens opening the flat. He's got it. Can't score down to the four yard line. Nice one yard field goal tried by Matt Williams who has only had 11 chances this year made nine. I'll make it 10 out of 12 and Texas Tech regains Tech shows blitz and then they back out of it. They send three still get pressure on Cousins throws for the sideline and incomplete intended for the backup quarterback nickel and it was 16 and then when your character is questioned you ought to really be motivated. Potts gets it back. Zuzalek stumbles, knocked out of bounds, shy of the goal line at the two. Austin Zuzalek on the pass. Robinson makes the tackle and taking the call at the line. And he wants to throw. End zone touchdown. Batch a perfect strike to Lyle Leong, his ninth touchdown catch of the year. Open in the corner. <laughs> But I guess Taylor Potts is used to having more than one wide receiver. But there's a very high standard 
at some places especially for quarterbacks at Texas Tech. There's a great throw by Cousins and Blair caught a pass the entire year because the rest of the wide receiving core had been suspended. Caper on the carry so they are using Keith Nickel number no, <laughs> on their entire roster. Third and about three Cousins under pressure. Resets throws. Martin touchdown. Keyshawn Martin got behind the defense and Cousins avoided the sack and found him for 48 yards. Scramble drill. Kirk Cousins scramble. Michigan State saying that goes for DBs as well, but they didn't. He was a little late. Another flanker screen, another successful play. Eric Stevens, they have used that to great success so far tonight. Potts, a little swing. Batch, caught from behind, reached the 21-yard line. Good tackle by Pickleman. Saves an additional kind of effort tracking that football down. Burning quite a bit of time here before they get this play off. Potts now throws wide of Detron Lewis in 47 yards. Hey, excuse me, 38 yards after a miss from 47. And this one is good. And Texas Tech extends its. And in some ways, it excites them more to be here playing in this environment. Texas Tech with a chance to return. This is Eric Stevens fumbled the football. Michigan State says they have it and they do. Stevens coughs it up on the kick with under center. Edwin Baker is his tailback. Cousins with time. Slips two tacklers. Still on his feet down to the 15 yard line. Give the Michigan State needs a touchdown here and not a field goal. Yeah. Cousins quarterback draw. Nobody home straight up the middle. Excuse me, nickel. They put the backup quarterback in there. Nickel takes the snap. Good in. Michigan State takes the lead for the first time here early in the third quarter. They actually put Nick on his jersey. He played the game instead of Potts on the back of the jersey with Nick on the back of the jersey. This is Batch. Down to the 25 yard line. They are just on Sunday morning after our game. Well, if they do at 6 a.m. on Sunday morning, he's going to be the guy. There is a perfect strike by Taylor Potts to Jacoby Franks. He ran a post, and there wasn't anybody within three steps of him. That was too easy, coach. And Taylor Potts is now thrown for 313 yards. In this for gear, he is going to be a great player. That's good. Michigan State first and ten. Cousins with a man wide open, and it's Blair White. Fifty yards. Cousins out of the shotgun, four-man rush, under pressure. Wants the screen, throws it too high, and it's incomplete. Nice job, defensive. Moment was snapped because of the blitz and man-to-man -man coverage. Swenson will try a 43-yarder. They fake it. And they've got a first down at the seven-yard line. The pass to Charlie Gann. <laughs> How about that? A little bit of the t bounce to win this football game, not field goals. And that's one of the great things about all the time you can prepare. Martin takes the snap. Direct snap to White. Touchdown. How deep can you go in the playbook? Yeah. Keyshawn Martin <laughs> takes the direct. Comes out here tonight and is letting it rip and taking advantage of his weapons. Keyshawn Martin. It's four man rush. They don't get there. Potts on the out. Oh, what a perfect throw. The timing to Detron Lewis was spectacular. Could be the final play of the quarter. Batch. Nice cut. 
Lowers the shoulder, driven out of bounds to the 42-yard line. Takes an extra shot at the end. 1,000 yards wouldn't be out of question, would it? <laughs> Three-man rush. Potts. Too strong and intercepted. Picked off by Ross Weaver. And a poor throw that time. Michigan State take advantage. Baker stays in full house backfield. They'll give it to Caper. He goes off the left side down around the 32. Getting ready. We'll check with Heather in a second. Little flip. Baker. Cut down. Let's check in with Heather Cox. Well, Mike, you were right. You saw Taylor Potts go into the locker room with... Quarterback keeper on third and inches. That's going to be a first down. Yeah, but normally you don't see a guy with a concussion out there. Spot of the foul. Cousins. Quarterback draw. Nice call against the pressure. Cody Davis made the tackle. Let's check in with Heather. Taylor. Baker. And Ray John Henley closes down from that defensive end spot and makes the tackle. This will be from 44. He's had one block, remember. Wilder. He's going to be playing at the next. Texas Tech and Sheffield pick up a huge third down. Sheffield, great throw. Down to the 30, 25, 22 yard line. That was a perfect toss to Lyle Leon. Tim wide enough on that release, Mike. He never gave the safety a chance to get over. Batch on the draw. Sean Burns, number 51, cleared the way. Not down by four points. Sheffield, screen, batch. Well, he's got an extra gear, too. He turns the corner, gets down to the 11-yard line. Both these run from the 11. Clock restarts, approaching the five-minute mark. Sheffield looks for the end zone, throws. Goal line, touchdown! Detron Lewis in the corner beat Jeremy Ware. That's come from. This guy was a walk-on right here. Yeah. They're not like all highly recruited guys coming through that system. The extra point sneaks inside the upright to be the head coach at Texas Tech. Cousin avoids the sack and throws the interception. Picked off by Mitchum. The young man who was hurt early in the year. Mistakes. Michigan State has burned two of its timeouts. They have to get the stop here. Sheffield was under center. Comes back, throws an incomplete in and out of hands of Alex Torres. Their leading receiver. Yard line for a first down to get a fresh set of downs. Jones coming on the blitz. Torres, they go right back to it, and Torres is inside the 25-yard line for a first down. Now, how about that call? Your leading receiver drops the it would be a 39 yard field goal if they want to try that if they don't get the first down they'll run the sweep inside the 20 to about the 18 yard line with Jeffers and they will just they come with four pass complete that should do it Detron Lewis makes the when he dropped Batch. Big hole. Touchdown. Came with the blitz. Marcus Hyde, the free safety, just all the balls we've seen in the air. But Baron Batch takes it in. And you have to wonder. What's going through Mike Leach's mind? Game, and you got to take your hat off to him for upholding the discipline. Ray John Henley with the sack back of the two-yard line. Came like a freight train and got Kirk Cousins from Bob. Fourth and long. Last gasp for Michigan State. Cousins, the deep out, complete, nearly intercepted. 
and then they drive the receiver out of bounds to the 28 yard line that's not enough for a first down and if you don't win it that bitter taste in Mark D'Antonio's mouth continues but I tell you what Mark D'Antonio has proven himself as a coach he laid the foundation in Cincinnati for the great year that they had this season and last season as well. He's gone to three straight bowl games something the, the program had not done since Nick Saban in the late 90s. But you got to take your hat off to this guy the interim head coach Ruffin McNeil after 10 years on the stage Bob Davey Heather Cox and our entire hardworking ESPN crew. This is Mike Patrick so long from San Antonio Texas where the Red Raiders of the 2010 Valero champions.